Here's your friendly announcer. I got some serious news to pass on to everybody. What's up, y'all? How you doing? What's going on? All right. I'm here today to do a few videos, vlogs, what you call them. Um, follow-ups, a couple of few follow-ups. And a story that's near and dear to me right now, and quite disturbing, actually. Um, and uh, I would be pretty much out of line if I did not, um, you know, make mention of this story. Wow. Like I do other stories. So, with that being said, with that being said, I am going to first um, ask y'all to at least like the video, okay? If you like it, I mean, don't be afraid to say that you like it. I'm not asking you for no money. I'm not asking you for no honey. All I'm saying is, if you like the video, like, subscribe, and share. I mean, can I get a like? So, I know that's very, very difficult. Because a lot of people just, uh, in all uh, honesty, you know, just look at the videos. And, and, and they forget to like. But, if you're going to do these videos, it's very important to like. Because, more than likely... The videos are not being monetized because of YouTube's new policies and things. So every likes a uh, help and they count. So that right there, I would uh, humbly ask that y'all like the video. Okay? All right, I wanted to get started with that, but that's really not why I'm here. I'm really here with a heavy, heavy, heavy heart, but I got to read the story. Probably some of y'all have heard it. I had a couple calls today from uh, people asking me uh, or steering me to another YouTuber's page because of um, the story that's done about Dr. Hanan Islam and Brother Riza Islam. I'm sure a lot of y'all have seen Brother Riza Islam on Zoe Williams' Voice of Reason. A lot, and you probably see them on the Corey Hulk on Fifty One Fifty show. Uh, brilliant young brother, and um, member of the Nation of Islam. Uh, a lot of y'all know I have an affinity in my heart for the NOI. Um, I grew up in the Nation, of course. Um, as you grow. You continue to keep the teachings that you know. You know, you, you eat the meat and you throw away the bone. At least that's how my life works. Things that mean me good and have been, that worked for me in my life, I've tried to keep. Um, and the things that didn't, I try to throw away. But this right here is heavy. And I got to read this article to you guys because I'm, I'm very, very disturbed by this. So. Scientologists led away in handcuffs after stunning evidence of fraud heard in L.A. courts. Okay, at the conclusion of the first day in their preliminary hearing yesterday afternoon at Los Angeles Superior Court, Scientologist Hanan Islam, 60, and her son Ronnie Riza Islam, 29, were led away in handcuffs to spend the night in jail. Their hearing will continue this afternoon with more testimony from state investigators that the Islams ran a Scientology Narconon rehab in Compton using unwitting high school students supplied by corrupt educators to defraud the state's Medi-Cal insurance program of about three million bucks. Now this is a this article was done on the second too, by the way. So I'm uh, I know they've been to court. Well, I'm just going to finish reading. The underground bunker was fortunate enough to have correspondent Jeffrey Augustine on the scene for the dramatic day in court 
when Hanan and Riza continued their sovereign citizen argument and attempted to serve papers on the court, firing Judge Michael Pastor from the case. When she refused to stop talking over the judge, Hanan was taken into custody in the courtroom and charged with contempt of court. Later, Riza was also arrested and charged with contempt of court. You see, and this is what I'm saying about that sovereign citizenship. You got a lot of people up here talking about that. Um, a lot of people try to sell y'all sovereign citizen paperwork. And a lot of folks was defrauded. A lot of people were like Brother Polite, and, uh, uh, a Young Pharaoh, and all these other uh, black YouTubers. And that's why it's kind of hard as an um, older person to stop watching, you know, to, you know, to, our videos are all drama, all beef, and this is the kind of stuff that we're drawn to. So, you know, I kind of stay away from black YouTube. I'm not trying to be funny because this is the, the deception and the crazy, the, the low vibrational shit that we gravitate towards. So there's been a lot of this sovereign nation stuff going around and people telling you that you can be a sovereign citizen and it's working for some and blah, 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 blah. Well, it didn't work for them and they were charged with contempt and thrown in jail. Okay? But Augustine tells us that beyond the bizarre actions by the Islam, the arrest and other attempts to delay matters, the real story to come out of yesterday's hearing was the devastating evidence that spelled out by the states in its attempt to convince Judge Pastor that Hannah and Riza, as well as Hannah's daughters, Zakia, Nimmat, and other defendants, Bayon Washington, 46, should stand trial for their alleged crime. Almost four years ago, um, of this strange criminal case, which grew out of a notorious Scientology front operation, the World Literacy Crusade, operated by Hannah's partner at the time, prominent African-American Scientologist Al Freddie Johnson. They had opened a, the Rehab American Health and Educators Clinic, AHEC, which is the, you know, the uh, anonym, at the WLC facility, and the Islams allegedly operated the scam from 2010 to 2013. After Hannah's arrest in 2015, AEH and WLC was shut down. Alfred Johnson was not arrested and has faced no charges, but yesterday's testimony offers some explanation of that. Financial accounts at the AHEC were in Hanan's name or one of her daughters, Zakia. Augustine said that at the state's testimony, um, and I guess this Augustine is like a reporter, somebody that was in the court. Augustine said that the state's testimony offered much more detail about how the scam operated. AHEC had recruited corrupt educators in the Compton Unified School District, two high school principals, and a football coach. And I heard that football coach was from uh, Dominguez. Anyway, who had access to records that indicated which of their students qualified for Med-Cal coverage. AHEC paid the educators for their part in the scheme with one of the principals getting $60,000. All three lost their jobs after being arrested in 2014. They later pleaded guilty to misdemeanors. AHEC employees, typically RZA, Islam, is alleged to have conducted 35 to 55 minute sessions, sometimes longer, to groups of as many as 50 students, Augustine says. The names of the students gathered on sign-in sheets would then be passed on to AHEC's ghostwriters. According to the state investigators, these ghostwriters had been hired after being given creative writing tests and they operated out of Sweet F at the World Literacy Crusade. Their job was to invent progress reports at $5 a page for the high school students. The students might be shown an anti-drug film, for example, 
but it was the job of the ghostwriters to create lengthy and bogus progress reports of each of the students, pretending that they had actually been through a whole series of drug treatments and not just sitting around watching videos. If the state ever audited the program, the Islams could show the fraudulent progress reports written by the ghostwriters. The investigator gave the names of several A-head ghostwriters from whom he had interviewed. Investigator Sam Richardson went into detail about how all of the defendants were involved in the fraud. Hanan Islam, as the president of AHEC, Zakia was a counselor and did billing, Riza and Nimnet Islam, and co-defendant Bayham Beverly Washington served in various capacities as counselors and signed off on billing documents. Wow. AHEC wrote checks to the educators, I mean to the education officials involved in this conspiracy. These checks and all other supporting documents were entered as exhibits. Mm. World Literacy Cruc Crusade staff were also pressured to sign up as Medi-Cal recipients or be fired from their jobs. The state pre presented evidence, for example, that two staffers who had taken no courses were used to bill Medicare 14,500 and 5,000 as though they had been through the drug treatment program. Riza Islam was shaking his head no during parts of the testimony by investigator Richardson, Augustine said. Wow. The testimony also gave some idea of how the scam was found out. AHEC excessively billed a particular medical code for intensive outpatient treatment for people with substance abuse problems. That brought the operation to the attention of Medi-Cal's fraud investigative unit and ultimately to a raid of the competent facility. Wow. So what brought the attention to them was they excessively billed a particular code, and that was for intensive outpatient treatment. See, when you're getting that county money and the county funding, if you're not if very careful, um, you have to definitely dot your I's and cross your T's because they will come down on you. Um, and you have to be, if you want to up it up, you don't have anything to worry about. But if you're doing little mishaps and doing things here and there, this is the kind of stuff that we'll catch up with. Wow. The testimony also gave some idea of how the scam was found out. The sovereign citizen arguments and the mass attempt by the defendants to fire their attorneys were just delaying tactics, and none of them worked. It didn't stop the staggering weight of the evidence from being presented and made public in the court. Um, the day's session ended at 4.15 and Hanan and Riza were taken away in handcuffs to spend the night in jail. And then it goes on. The preliminary hearing will resume today at 1.30. Wow. 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 I mean, this is a very um, disheartening um, situation. And so if the Church of Scientology had is all wrapped up in this, and um, if they're aware of this, then that means that, um, you know, hey, that they want the money by any means necessary, and they're just as big as crooks as anybody else. Back when I was a teenager, I had bought the book uh, Dianetics by L. Ron Hubbard. And uh, I like some of the principles because I'm a kind of person that gravitate towards those kind of ideologies and principles and things like that. I mean, I still got the book around here somewhere, Dianetics by L. Ron Hubbard. However, I did not know that the Nation of Islam had, up until recently, I found out, had joined forces with them um, 
I think they would have just been better off teaching uh, people in the nation how to meditate as opposed to getting caught up in um, <laughs> some craziness from L. Ron Hubbard. That's, that's you know, uh, that's just a little bit, just a little bit hard to take. So anyway, anyway, you got to follow up on this case, and I will be, to let y'all know what's going on with Brother Rizza Islam. But it's not good news at all to hear something like this. And um, shame on, uh, you know, if this is true, shame on them because no good, no bad deed goes unnoticed. And um, that's one of them. No, no bad deed goes unnoticed and unpunished. Wow. So with that being said, I'm going to uh, be back in the next video. Like what you hear, please like, please share, please.